Hey, hey, fancy seeing you here, fellow artist or webcomic reader, or maybe even person who is bored so you stumbled across my video in the hopes of getting something out of this video. <laughs> my scuffed videos, but I see you. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'm Oni Rave, and I'm a webcomic artist slash author, well, both, <laughs> who's working on my own comic blood white circus over on webtoon and tapas um i just like putting that intro so you guys know like it, maybe if i have like the credentials to be able to talk about this stuff <laughs> but yeah um i'm here to tell you why you should start doing your comic now <laughs> no i'm kidding maybe not like right now but you should get started on it and the pros and cons that come from diving headfirst into it soon <laughs> hint hint there are more pros than there are cons at least in my opinion so we will be covering both the pros and cons yes did i already say that i don't know um but yes before we get started here i just want to say thank you so much for 60 subscribers oh my gosh at the time i'm recording this i i can't even believe i gained as many as i did i really um, super, super appreciate the positive feedback and comments. They were so sweet um, on my last video. Um, I didn't expect it to do as well as it did, so thank you. I uh, hope you look forward to more and look forward to this video as well after I stop rambling. Um, also, as a side note, all the examples and speed paints are from my own webcomic, so trust me, I'm not using other people's content. <laughs> um, but yes, everything's from Blood White Circus. So, you ever think you're not good enough to make comics? Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. And don't worry, I was in the same boat too, like even six months ago <laughs> when I started. So I 100% understand. Um, so I will say this many, many times over. Anyone and everyone is free to make comics and should if you want to. If you have a story to tell and you want to use this, um, wonderful is it called a genre or is it like a type of form of art yeah it's basically a form of art um if you want to use comics as a way to story or story tell <laughs> then hell yeah i freaking cheer you on like you should um comics are awesome so they take a lot of work but they're awesome there's no level you have to be at to start and there's very little reason that you wouldn't be able to um some being maybe like you just physically can't because you don't have time or maybe your body like you're strained but we'll get into that we'll get into that uh there are many ways you could get around those obstacles so don't worry too much about getting started um we will be covering those points later in the video all right let's start with the pros okay so wow my intro i think it was shorter so i'm already doing better than my last video i think <laughs> anyway um first pro that I believe in making comics uh, that you will run into is it, maybe it'll sound obvious and I know other people have done these but it improves your drawing skills at a very very rapid pace um that's not to say without the work putting you know um if you put the work into the chapters hell yeah you're inevitably gonna get better uh, drawing so many panels will just make you improve um, whether you like it or not, I mean, who would not want to improve, you know what I mean? <laughs> but your art skills are going to um, improve, you get a grasp of anatomy, backgrounds, objects, foliage, is that how you say that word? Um, grass and trees. <laughs> and the list goes on and on. Um, lots of, lots and lots of planning that goes into comics, so maybe even your organization skills will come in um, just be better <laughs> i sure as hell know after i did um comics this is a little side note but like i started layer or er, naming my layers a lot and yeah just a lot more organization that goes into it many bad art habits started to shine through in a bad way <laughs> when i was doing it i'm like okay i really gotta fix this if i'm gonna be efficient so you definitely start working efficiently um that's a huge pro that i ran into um, and of course, just improvement in general, but that's just, that comes with just doing more art. However, um, you also learn how to problem solve, draw on the spot, like, you're gonna have to learn how to draw things on the dot, you know, it's like, or er, on the spot, I mean. 
<laughs> and that's a good skill to build up and get out of your comfort zone. Um, I know a lot of people dislike backgrounds and whatever, but you're kind of gonna probably end up like BSing or like, and that's good. That's a good way to get out of your comfort zone. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Many people also use 3D assets, which is cool. You're learning 3D um, art too, you know, just 3D things. <laughs> I'm sure people use Blender to like also import 3D objects and stuff. That's so cool. I know CSP has like a 3D object insert thing. Uh, not, I, I, I actually don't use this. So I'm sorry. I'm not really like, to, <laughs> I don't know about the 3Ds, but um, I'm sure it helps a ton. So on to the next little thing in that category. Also improves your storytelling and compositions for cinematic panels, which I talked about last video too. Very much improves um, how to capture different atmospheres or yeah, with different lighting and stuff to make things cinematic or maybe um, even uh, capture like good foreshadowing moments. Like maybe you can have like, for example, you have like a little beam of light um, hitting a certain object that you want to like foreshadow in the next chapters. Like making the reader notice these little things with the atmosphere. You know, it's so cool. It's so cool how many things you can do with that stuff. So sorry, I could talk about that all day. <laughs> um, and so maybe even those skills can translate to different um, like potential gigs and forms of art in general, That which leads me to my next thing. Um, maybe it could even prepare you to be, for example, a storyboard artist. I know they do, I mean, they do so many thumbnails at a quick pace and um, I'm by no means, I'm not a storyboard artist. I, trust me, I don't really know too much, but from the thing, some of my friends are storyboard artists and they really, <laughs> they tell me like they're, um, what they have to go through and it's like, it's so true, you know, when you do so many panels and thumbnails for your comic chapters, you kind of get a hang of like, what kind of compositions you like and all that stuff. Sorry, this is probably getting long already. But um, yeah, so it's a good way to translate those skills into potential gigs. And so with good and fast improvement, you can also hire your prices as an artist, um, whether it's commissions or yeah, just gigs, anything, you know, because you're gaining that experience. Um, with comics, you definitely gain a lot of experience. So. And, um, yeah, exactly, the whole, man, I wrote this again, but gig as a comic artist in the future, um, teaming up with another writer or an author, doing a comics with someone else, um, starting sooner and not later is definitely, um, a really good thing for, <laughs> just do your comic, just, just get into it, but, uh, yeah, the possibilities are really endless, and I can't even say for sure what you would you know, do with that experience with comics, but that's also kind of exciting, you know? You'll never know. <laughs> You'll never know, you know? <laughs> I need to stop saying, you know, but anyway. Okay, so my second uh, little pro is making comics can be great material to put on your resume or commission pages um, if you would it, it kind of leads into that, I guess. Maybe it's maybe it's a little bit like <laughs> morphed with the first one with improvement and making comics can be good resume material or um, I guess portfolio. That's the word, right? You can put on your portfolio and build your portfolio up. So if someone's going to be looking at that, they can see um, if you, let's say, finish a comic, which I know it's very hard to finish comics, especially when um, it takes so long to finish, you know, all these episodes, unless you're starting with a small one, but uh, we'll get into that as well. Uh, it shows your great commitment to long-term projects and your dedication, and also you can show your improvement over time. You know, you, you've improved at a rapid pace, so you can adapt with different environments and um, maybe even styles or, Whatever it is, like, they will see that and recognize that because that's a very big accomplishment to be able to finish a project as big as a comic. Like, that is, a, wow, I applaud you, you know? <laughs> that is amazing. So, and you can show these comics at cons and even make merch around them if you would so please. Um, and that can be another passive income with a personal touch to them, you know? It's your OCs and your... Well, yeah, original content. That, how cool is that? You know, this this comes 
way later probably unless you blow up like hell yeah <laughs> that's even a plus you know but it's cool to think about uh and it may be motivating so um having to just being able to do anything with your story and ocs anything because it's all originally made from you is very powerful it feels amazing you know <laughs> oh i need to stop with you now um and maybe later on when you start um, gaining fans that talk about your comic or theorize things, um, it feels extra, extra rewarding. It's a very special feeling versus something. And I'm not trying to um, say anything about fan art artists at all. Like they're amazing too. I could never <laughs> do fan art to that extent. I'm just too in love with the OC stuff, or original content stuff, but um, yeah, it's just such a different, weird, in a good way, an, an amazing feeling when it's like your baby, you, you made them born into this world and then people were like, oh my god, I love your child or like your original, I don't know, it's just very different, <laughs> trust me. So that's another pro, you get that very rewarding feeling with that and just feel very fulfilled and it might make you want to make more comics in the future, which hell yeah, we all love comics. We all love, okay, maybe not everyone, but I sure as hell love comics, okay? <laughs> That's a plus for me. Um, so you have tons of content to work with since you're the boss of your own comic, you're the boss of your own characters, you can do whatever the hell you want with them. Excuse my little language there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> On to the third one. I don't know how long this video is already getting, but you can always, always, always reboot your comic if it doesn't turn out how you like it. Or you can even drop it all together. There is no fear in starting. Of course, when I say no fear, everyone's gonna be a little scared starting because we all have a little bit of an expectation and we don't want to get, you know, you're putting yourself out there, you're pouring your heart in front of everyone and there's gonna be people who probably don't enjoy it and there's that's just how it is. But I'm talking about like starting for yourself. You should start um, sharing all your original ideas to the world. Like I'm sure there's so many people that would love to see that. So um, yeah, anyway. So the first part in that, I have these little like <laughs> bullet points underneath, sorry. So first bullet point, um, just because your art skill level might not feel there, air quotes, yet, it doesn't mean you'd be wasting your story on your current art skill level, if that makes sense. Um, you can even start your huge project if you want. Was it Magnum Opus? Um, I think that's the word. Oh my gosh, I hope that is. <laughs> I keep hearing it. I'm like, yeah, that's the huge, huge project. Um, if you really want to, and no one's really stopping you. Um, I know that's kind of like... I don't know if that's a hot take, but I've seen from many, many different videos that, and I understand why. The logical thing of like, don't start on your huge story, like you'll never, um, like it's not gonna gain traction or, uh, what's it called? You're gonna disappoint yourself and that kind of stuff, which we'll get to in the cons. But I believe personally, if you're that passionate about your big story, you should freaking start it, you know? Like, you should use that passion for that to keep you going. If you're going to, let's say, let's say your huge comic has, let's estimate, okay, maybe 200 to even 300 chapters somehow. Like, I don't even know what a really huge story would be, like, <laughs> honestly. But let's say, let's say it's 200 chapters. I'd rather be quitting at maybe, not rather, I wouldn't want to quit, but if I had to, maybe I'd get through 150 chapters of my big story and feel like, eh, you know, whatever. I'd have way more content and way more drive to go that far than to do a story that I'm not really like super excited about and probably quit at about like 20 episodes, if that makes sense. Like, that's just me, because when I'm, I tunnel vision very hard. When I'm very into a story of mine, or I have a couple stories that I've wanted to tell, but I need 
to do the one that I'm like itching to do, you know, like dying to do. Like I have to get all that energy, the creative energy out. So like I said, it's different with everybody, but if you're holding back your big story because you're scared that um, it's either not gonna, maybe not gonna do well or you're gonna be wasting it. That's how I see it. I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste my good story on my current art skill level because I don't, my vision is not exactly how, like, I can't put that image onto a canvas exactly how I envision it in my head. <laughs> so it's kind of like frustrating sometimes. I'm like, no, this is not how I envision the scene. Um, but you can always reboot it, you know? Like, if people, if you gather the amount of fans that you have then and they know that you're gonna reboot the comic hell yeah i'm sure they would be a hundred percent supportive of it and would love to see how you reboot it <laughs> reboot it with your current art skill level and it's only gonna get better so you know what you start your huge story all right if you really want to um at least i i freaking would <laughs> well i am basically <laughs> But yeah, you can even create like alternate universes to your first comic if you really want to, spice things up. You can restart the entire comic if you really want to, but recycle the characters you loved from the first one. Just experiment with it and have fun. Um, wow, this point got very long, but uh, starting on any comic that you're very passionate about uh, is very powerful. You'll just keep mowing through it you know <laughs> oh um you don't have to wait until you're good enough because you'll be improving all the time so you can use that passion that you have at that moment to improve to then reboot later um because chances are you'll get to that level by just diving straight into it did i repeat that maybe <laughs> anyways okay so now sorry to say but <laughs> We're gonna get into the cons. Oh my gosh. No, okay, okay, they're not that bad. Like, they're pretty, like, obvious, again. <laughs> and I already stated them in the little thesis, so to speak. <laughs> so, um, so the first con uh, will just be simply, it takes a lot of time out of your personal life and your day in general, right? So, um, obviously comics take a long time and maybe the people around you, you, you might not have as much time to hang out with your friends or your family. Um, I know it's the pandemic right now, but well, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, let's say, but you won't get to spend as much time with them. Um, sacrifice a bit of time for the comic. Um, maybe even not just a bit, maybe a lot. However, um, ways to battle that is just taking it easy, you know, figuring out a schedule that works for your personal life and try and stick with it even if you upload once a month excuse me if people like your comic enough uh you will always have people coming back for more for the next chapter like if they like it enough they will you will have them quote unquote loyal fans i don't even like saying that word like loyal fan i don't know it feels feels weird but i meant people that will appreciate your work and want more yes um or what you can do is create a huge buffer for yourself in the beginning. Uh, you could even take about, <laughs> I know I took about like eight months, eight to nine months planning my comic out, like from beginning to end. <laughs> and even then I didn't even know the end. So I just, just straight up dove into it. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's the best advice, but I did it and it's okay, you could do it too. Um, say like making like 10 chapters, or maybe even more and trickle release them you can actually schedule stuff on tapas and webtoons so you could just like let it sit and see how it goes that way you'll just have to schedule the episodes to whatever dates you want and see how the comic performs and maybe later on you will realize that you want to do it full time and are able to um realistically comics don't really <laughs> on webtoons I don't make any money from it, but that's a whole different video with um, funds from it. Maybe other ideas that you could get from, or making money from comics in general. It, it's a lot of more sidetracking stuff, <laughs> uh, like merch and all that. Well, that's a different topic, sorry. 
but if, yeah so if it goes well you can decide if you want to sink more time into it but even then you didn't lose anything because you improved your skills you can raise your prices for commissions because your experience is higher and you can draw better simply better <laughs> so you didn't lose anything uh second point second con point maybe physically straining on your body if you're working solo especially like you don't have a colorist or you don't have um any assistance even if you did it's still you know your wrist is probably going to hurt <laughs> if you don't take breaks but making sure you're taking breaks and adequate time off of your comic work is necessity as long as you have long work periods um with anything really any kind of work um it'll strain your body so it's a very obvious point i guess but i'm trying to tell you how obvious these points are the cons so there's nothing to worry about but, uh, except these like very obvious things <laughs> uh but setting simple timers to stretch take a walk get a drink or rest your body are very easy to set up and very effective uh that's a good point to tell myself as well <laughs> There are also wrist protectors, certain gloves that help with circulation, like they like grip on your hand and all that, you know? And your hands, arms, and mouse pads that can help elevate your wrist to lessen symptoms of carpal tunnel. Um, I guess that would work on the other hand, but I don't know. <laughs> I've read about those. Uh, I will say I'm no doctor, so please, please don't, please don't sue me. Um, but these are just a few things to take into account uh, when trying to lessen strain on your wrist and body. So make sure to do research before you buy these products. Uh, don't. Um, wasn't me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just giving these little examples of maybe things you can um, do to lessen the strain. So. <laughs> Please don't get me in trouble but uh yeah so the third and final con that i have that i could think up of scrape up um is maybe if you have huge expectations of your comics this is more of a mental con i guess if you have a huge expectation to blow up with your comic especially with the first one um you may feel unmotivated or you know feel a bit down about how things are going maybe readership is low or like views didn't do so well you maybe you didn't get as many hearts as you thought um from the last episode when you worked so hard on it but you know what keep at it you will like inevitably get better at art you're gonna catch someone's eye and someone's gonna appreciate it all right so don't feel terrible um about that too much Trust me, we all feel a little like that still, you know? E even if I'm saying this tip, I've had those moments too, and I still do. But this is a good reminder to myself. <laughs> These are all good. You know what? These are all good reminders. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. Maybe I'm doing this for me. <laughs> anyway, um, with every chapter of your comic, with every panel you finish, you are improving so much. And you should be proud of yourself. Comics are super hard, but... You got this, like, you got this. It's all the more reason um, they are so rewarding and fulfilling to do. Otherwise, if it was easy, that wouldn't even be the case. Like, if anyone could do comics and keep going and keep doing it, that's not to shame the people who have quit doing them because they still gained experience from it. But it's hard to keep pushing forward, okay? Kudos to you for keeping on and we're all on this comic making journey together, so yeah, we all cheer you on. I'm sure most people are supportive of that. Um, keep telling your stories, keep being proud of your art progress, even from chapter to chapter, and just, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get your story out there, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you will touch someone's heart with them. Um, and that feels amazing. That is already like, a huge part of why I love making comics <laughs> um, but yeah anyway that wraps it up for me in terms of tips uh, thanks for getting to this point in the video if you did and just as a last little thing <laughs> nudge nudge 
go check out my thriller mystery romance webcomic full of vampires and demons. Uh, Blood White Circus over on Webtoon and Tapas. I'd super, super appreciate that. And thank you to all the new subs from YouTube, um, on YouTube as well as web Webtoons. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think so many new readers would come from YouTube. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised and you're all just too kind. I hope you enjoy the story if you plan to read it and yeah, I hope you, uh, you know, look forward to more videos as well. Um, if I missed any points that you may have, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. It's always interesting to hear differing views on topics like these, because obviously I need some insight all the time. I, I need all the knowledge I can get, gimme gimme, <laughs> to share some insight. Yes, sorry, I, I go back and forth from reading and then in my head, like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching and hope to catch you in the next one. Um, yeah, have a good day and... <laughs>